Good morning. It's a nice uh, early September morning here in South Florida. Today we're looking at another boat. We're also going to take the boat for a sea trial. Uh, this one is a 1999 34-foot uh, Cruisers Inc. The actual model is uh, 3375 Esprit. It's a fairly typical 34-foot cruiser. It's got nice amenities. As you can see, it's got a massive uh, swim platform with a ladder. There's looking aft. As far as the canvas goes, what you see is what we have. What has a dash cover. Bimini tops. It was actually inside rack store before we got it, so that's why there's no canvas. Uh, all the outside gel coat, it's really nice and shiny. There's the front deck, we got a couple of skylights. Again, really nice gel coat. This boat actually was brought over to Florida about three years ago from uh, the Great Lakes. So it's been a freshwater boat almost all its life. Alright, let's go inside next and uh, see how it looks there. This is the view forward from the uh, swim platform of our cruisers. So you got seating in the back, there's a small wet bar, sink. I'll show you the uh, swim platform one more time. So this one is a very nice size, you got a stainless steel grab rail there. And if you're wondering about those brackets, those are actually brackets for a dinghy davit. And I do believe we have uh, the rest of the parts for the davits back here. Right down there where the shore power hooks up. We haven't tested them, but looks like all the parts are there. Okay, let's go inside. It's a little doorway, you can close the cockpit when you're on the way if you have small kids so nobody wanders off on the swim platform the seats they appear to be original overall for the age they show very well here's the back piece right over there there seems to be an old repair Previous owners have upgraded the stereo, so the music system on this boat is, is quite nice. And here's looking at the helm. We have separate controls for uh, throttles and shifters. Standard Horizon VHF radio, which works fine. There's no other electronics on this boat. Like I said, it came from the lakes, and here it apparently has been used mostly to cruise the intracoastal, so the previous owner apparently didn't see any need to get uh, GPS on it, but one can easily be added if uh, the next owner so what desires. It's more seating. Here's the sliding door to the cabin. I'll show that to you a little bit later. Here's looking at the helm. Mostly everything works here. One thing we noticed that doesn't work is the depth finder. 
it's a hummingbird unit, those are about $120. And it seems like it works, but the display is kind of burnt. Looking at the gauges, the sink gauge has been changed at some point, it doesn't really match the other ones. The hours, they show 412 and 388. And we figured it's kind of low for the age, so we did put a scan tool on the engines and it appears that the gauges have been replaced at some point probably just due to the age but the hours straight from the engine computers they are a hair over 900 hours which is really not bad considering the boat is 22 years old so if you do the math it's a little bit over 40 hours per season Show you the helm seat, also in nice shape, and the helm. The boat does have an electric windlass, which works fine. All the gauges seem to work, and here's looking forward. Okay, it's getting kind of hot here, so. Let's go into the cabin next and see how everything looks there. We have the air conditioning on and on this boat it works exceptionally well. It's really nice and cool in there. Let's go take a look. Okay, we're looking at a view from the aft cabin of our uh, cruisers. I'll show you the aft cabin a little bit better but you can kind of get an overall view of the cabin from back here. On the port side. We have the galley, starboard side, nice seating area with the table. Looking down, got the carpets. Also, for the uh, age of the boat, I said they look really, really nice. Okay, getting out of the cabin. Alright, let's start from the forward. The main bed, main berth, very spacious. You have the skylight for some natural lighting. Looking at the headliner, I don't really see any issues with that either. It seems to be all tight, no sagging anywhere. I don't even see any signs of any leaks anywhere, to be honest. There's the sides, there's a little porthole. There's a tiny little mark. Might have had some small leak at some point. Doesn't seem to be active. Mirror and the hull liner and a little storage area there and we also have a TV so you can chillax in the bed and watch some TV if you want there's the air conditioning vent like I mentioned earlier it works really well on this boat it's ice cold Storage, the wall covering, okay, sorry, playing with the zoom, okay, there we have the entrance, and here's again the seating area. The upholstery seems to be really nice, no rips, no tears. And here we're looking at the galley. We have hot and cold pressure water, it's working fine. Even the water heater is working. 
there's space there. I believe there used to be a microwave there. Right now, there's nothing. The previous owner must have removed it. But if uh, the next owner wants, it's fairly easy to add there and you can have microwave again. There's a double burner cooktop. More storage. There's the stereo. Like I said, it also works fine. And here we have the air conditioning controls. Set at 73 and it's very comfortable in here right now. We also have the full AC DC control panel in the aft cabin. Let's show that to you. So here you have the AC voltage, DC voltage, all the controls. And this is the aft cabin where I started the video part from. More tables there. There's a table for the outside. Filler cushions. There's more filler cushions there. One thing I need to mention is the refrigerator. It does get power, but it's not getting cold. So it either needs to be serviced or replaced. So that's another thing for the new owner to consider what kind of a fridge they want to put there or if it's worthwhile to have a service person come over and see if this one can be repaired. Okay, and we'll finish our inside tour here. So, this was the inside part and uh, next let's go outside and uh, start the motors and then we'll take the boat out for a ride so you can see how it runs. Almost forgot important part of the inside of the boat, the head. Okay, here you can see it's uh, kind of a separate shower, you can sit there, there's a curtain to separate the uh, shower part, it's a mirror, and when you're looking down you have a sink, there's also hot cold presser water, down here the head, it's actually electric. There's the switches, you got the lights, and then you have the uh, controls for the head. You also have a couple of power outlets here, port light for some uh, natural light, and then uh, storage there. And down here, you have the drain, goes to a sump pump, which also works as it should. All right. That was a little bit of an addition for the head compartment. Okay, before we go out, we'll show you a cold start of the engine. So, uh, go ahead. That's the port side. And the engines are completely cold right now. That's the starboard side. No smoke. Those are the uh, MPI engines, so just turn the key and they start right up. Okay, we'll do a couple of circles outside the dock so you can see the boat a little bit better. And then uh, we'll head out. Right. Now we get a better look at the uh, outside of our cruisers. Captain will do you a couple of rounds there so you can see uh, both of the sides and the bow. Just looking at it from over here, the boat really looks really clean. There's really no major uh, scratches or dents anywhere. I mean, the boat is a 1999, so it's 22 years old. Obviously, uh, there's going to be some signs of use, but based on from this distance, everything looks fairly nice. You 
can see the forward deck. This actually snaps and fasteners for uh, sun beds. Unfortunately, we do not have those, but uh, any upholstery shop familiar with marine work should be able to do those very easily and shouldn't even be that expensive. The boat does have an electric windlass. You can see the anchor in the bow. Plenty of port lights for the inside. have a TV antenna up on the uh, radar arch. The engines, they're quite uh, quiet actually. This boat has the uh, optional V drives, which means that even here in Florida, you can easily keep it in the water without any major headaches like an outdrive boat would be. The engines are uh, 7.4 Mercruiser MPIs, 310 horsepower per side and uh, seem to be running great. Stainless is in nice shape, as one would expect from a boat that came from uh, freshwater only a few years ago. Like I mentioned earlier, this boat has been dry stored, so it is due for a bottom paint if the next owner wishes to keep the boat in the water. So that's something to keep in mind. It will need bottom paint. All right, let me jump into the boat and uh, we'll take it out for a ride. This is our uh, sea trial part, so we're going to put the boat up on plane slowly. All right, go ahead. Oil pressure on both of the motors. Also, the temperature seems to be right where it should be. Take a look at one more look at the gauges. Temperature's right on. After a hard run, we still have about 50 psi of oil pressure. I'd say mechanically, this boat is in nice shape. Okay, that was our sea trial part. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you have a boat you want to sell, Feel free to contact us and uh, we'd be happy to start working with you. Thanks. Okay, we'll uh, do one more addition to the video. We just came back from our sea trial and opened up the engine hatch just to see that everything is okay. So you can hear both of the engines running. They are really smooth. 
I don't really hear any extra noises whatsoever. They're really purring like they should. Uh, on the back there, you can see a forward generator. That thing also, it starts and runs fine. Unfortunately, there's some electrical thing on it. It's not making power at the moment, but we'll show you how it starts and runs. So let's turn up the engines and then uh, we'll go inside to the uh, remote panel and we'll start up the generator so you can see that it does start and run. Now? Yeah, go ahead. any AC electric but as you can hear it does start and run but that part of the boat will need some work but it's there and whoever buys the boat if you're handy you might be able to fix it yourself or uh, there's plenty of generator experts around who can take a look at it but other than that the boats ready for day on the water both of the motors start and run great so that's it Boats ready to go. Any questions, give us a call. 954-801-9315. Thank you.